episode number 14, no title, no name. I'm Alan, this is Rusty. What's up? How we doing? And uh, as you see from that video, guys, don't cheat. Tiger Woods! Don't cheat. <laughs> I mean, that cat had her man under a car tire. And if... I bet that's exactly what Tiger looked like right before he got out of his truck and drove away. Just standing there going, okay, okay. And then she come out there with a golf club coming to beat him down. Yeah, so don't cheat. Also, why is this news? I have uncles that crash their cars into trees every day. Their wives chase them with bigger things than clubs. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you've got some relatives too yeah. that... Doesn't act right, but they're not all over the place taking up my channels. <laughs> well, there was no other news. That's the only reason why we had to talk about it, except for more soldiers going over to Iraq. But anyway, whatever. Uh, there's no war. Uh, right. Speaking of wars and wasted time and money and things, starting tomorrow, Saturday the 5th of December, the Pentagon is wasting more money again and wasting more of my time that I'll have to watch on the news of this. Starting tomorrow, if you look towards the skies, look for a two and a half meter red balloon and not the one with a boy in it. <laughs> well, one of them will have a child in it. That's the winner. <laughs> well, if the Pentagon is sending out, and, and I'm going to put this in quotes, uh, the, the treasure hunt is designed to test how well people can coordinate with one another online and the first person will be awarded $40,000 who puts in the GPS coordinates of all 10 balloons. I can just see how this is going to happen now. Everybody's fighting to get that last 10th ten one to get in that 40 grand, but you know. So how, how does the Pentagon know? Uh, I would assume GPS tracking on the balloon itself. Okay. Hopefully no one shoots it out of the sky. Yeah, this could, is D.C. I could see if you're in like southern Tennessee or southern Georgia, somewhere in those states, and someone just goes, hey, da, 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 poof, poof, and shoots it down, it's, it's done for, so. It's D.C. <laughs> Everybody has a gun. <laughs> I mean, they, but people are just walking into the White House now. Yeah. What's going on in Washington, D.C.? Anyway, that's... Have you seen those two? No, I haven't. I have no idea. What was that? There, uh, Obama was throwing a, um, a dinner for some European dignitary, like a big one. Okay. And this couple just walked into the White House, just... Now, were they just a regular nobody yeah, just couple? Yeah, like a Joe Blow and Jane okay. Blow. Just walked right on in, past Secret Service and everything. Well, aren't you supposed to have some sort of invitation to get into these things? Yeah. So how'd they get in? They just walked on in. <laughs> it's Were they street clothes or were they dressed? They were dressed up, but... It's the White House. There's secret, there's men that are supposed to shoot you <laughs> on if, sight if they don't know who you are. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. Well, that's going off subject, but DC rabbit trail. Get it together. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Stupid. Next. All right, let's uh, let's talk about something useful. Um, there's this company called Beanbox, and uh, it's over. Uh, it's being released in Europe right now. I don't know when it's going to come to the States. Hopefully pretty soon. A pretty cool concept. It's a, the Beanbox MyLi M, lowercase i, uppercase L, lowercase i, a MyLi Evolution. And what it is, you take your iPhone or iPod and it's got a dock. And it has a little kickstand that has a projector. Now it only shoots... Um, 640 by 480. 640 by 480, which is small in resolution compared to projectors these days. But... Coming out of your iPhone, there's not there's not high quality video coming out of an iPod or iPhone anyway, so it's not gonna matter. Yeah, I mean, so if you got a business presentation, it's something that you can just keep in a, a breast pocket or an inside pocket, you know. And I think it would probably impress the people you were showing if you know they didn't have anything all set up. You can go, oh, I got it right here. Promotion. Exactly. You're Putting welcome. Up your videos and your presentations. Awesome. Well, we'll send an email to Beanbox and see if we can uh, get one to beta test. We're, we'll try. We'll, we'll really try because. <laughs> I wouldn't mind testing one of these things out. I mean, I got all sorts of walls. One of the places to try this place out, but anyway. Yeah, walls aren't for pictures. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care what your wife tells you. <laughs> walls aren't for pictures. Anyway, moving on next. Dig turns five today, and if you don't know what that is, it's DIWG.com. <coughs> it is a website where I get most of my technology news and where at least 40 million users other get, or 40 other million users get their news. 
it's a website that redirects to other websites. If you'll, you'll get, just get the news title, and then you click on it and it goes to that person's website. Pretty uh, much every news Ars Technica, website and everything has CNET, yeah. a dig button. Now. If you've ever read any news article on the internet and it has a little dig button on the bottom, including mine, you can see and go back to that website. Basically, it's just a promotional tool for other websites so you can get up on the front page of dig. But if you've ever been dug on the front page, you can tell the traffic is high in number with over 40 million users. So happy birthday, dig, and birthday. we will continue to use. I've been one since 2005. I think you've been one shortly thereafter. I don't know what your date is, but I know you were oh, around running. the same time. You um, showed, pretty much introduced me to it. So, so like, yeah, cool website. Check it out, diwg.com. And thank you, Kevin going, and guys. Alex. Awesome. Keep it up. Last story? Uh, yeah. Shoot. Last week we talked about the Google OS and how it's pretty, awesome. pretty cool. And as awesome. you just turn on the power button and a flash, you're up and running right on the Internet and pretty much anywhere you want to go. But the problem with that is you lose Windows. So if you have your office documents, your uh, Excel spreadsheets, you know, that, that's something you'd have to have on a, a home-based PC or another laptop where you have Google Chrome OS on a netbook or something. But Phoenix Technologies has a program called Hyperspace, which you can check it out at hyperspace.com. And what it is, it's about the same platform, but with Hyperspace, you can keep Windows and Hyperspace all on the same machine. So all you gotta do is when it loads up, it loads up in about 20 seconds. Then Hyperspace is up, you're ready to surf Google, and it's got a menu on the side here, it's got Google, Facebook, all Twitter, all the sites you normally go to. But down on the bottom, it has a window key. You hit that key, and it automatically will shoot you to your Windows. Now, Windows still has to boot up, yes, but you've got, you've got that page already up while Windows is booting, so you don't have to sit there and wait. The first demo video I watched, it showed it uh, when he first pressed the Windows button. It looks like it basically turns your computer around and starts Windows up as it normally would, but after that, it's kind of a seamless transition to go. It's like switching Windows, basically. It's just a seamless transition to go from hyperspace into Windows. Cool idea, though. It's yeah. just basically taking all the good from Google and just saying, well, we like the idea, but we just want to keep a hold of iTunes and Photoshop and all your other programs, your Office programs, whatever it is that you use on your laptop, computer, whatever. We want to keep that right next to it. So mm -hmm. hyperspace looks like a good way to go. So we say yes on Google Chrome S, but we also say yes and more with hyperspace. So yes. awesome. We're going to try to email those. They're in beta just as well. Mm -hmm. If they want to sponsor us or if they want to send us a beta laptop, <laughs> either way, Come we'll on, do it. Phoenix, you can have us <laughs> talking about your product. We could have your product right here on the show. So make sure you check us out. Uh, but anyway, if you know anyone that needs to send money our way, or you, I shouldn't say needs to, but if you know someone who can send money we're our poor. way, <laughs> we're hungry. Fifteen cents, <laughs> three nickels. Come on. Anyway, make we'll sure set up a PayPal button on our website. Speaking of which, <laughs> no title, no name. Dot com. It's there. Don't look. It's ugly. I'm still working on a theme, trying to work on something. But you can hit us up. No title, no name at gmail. What's the best com. nation in the world? Donation. <laughs> we'll see you next week. See you next week, guys. Yeah.